Well, hello everyone. Hope you've gotten out to a movie this week. Today, Grandma went to Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Now, this movie is complicated and is going to be difficult to describe, but I'll do my best to do it as quickly as I can. The movie starts by showing us uh, a very peaceful planet, the peaceful people, and unfortunately the peaceful planet is destroyed when a giant space ship crashes into the planet and blows it up. Well, then we shift to the story, the main story, of, you know, years and years later of uh, Valerian and Loreline, who are a uh, team of government agents of a uh, of a futuristic uh, human federation. You know, takes place. This this whole film takes place hundreds of years in the future. Uh, and they are put on a mission to retrieve uh, some items from this uh, city of a thousand planets, which is a basically a, a huge sort of space station with millions of people on it, which has developed over the years with all these different uh, you know, space races and such all living together in, in, on this planet. Or this sort of a planetoid or whatever, uh, artificial planet. So they've, they've been sent on this mission. Uh, the mission ends up connecting with this story of the aliens that we were told at the beginning. And uh, I'm not going to get too much into exactly what happens, but... Uh, they, they follow go, their adventures. They follow their they... adventures all through this yes. uh, city of a thousand planets. And what do you think, Grandma? I thought it was really interesting. It was, you start with an idea that is so fantastic and wonderful. I mean, hundreds of years in the future. And all of these planets have been, obviously, discovered with all these different races, with all kinds of shapes. Nobody... Only the Earth people, I think, still look like humans, but but all of these others, they're living together in this city and sharing all of their different talents and, and creativity and intelligence. And that's such a wonderful vision of the future, I think. Wouldn't that be cool if that really does happen, you know, four or five hundred thousand years, I don't know, but it was wonderful. Our two heroes, I appreciated the fact, actually, that they weren't recognizable faces from Hollywood. You know, somebody, some actor, an actress that I already knew. You couldn't really recognize any of the actors in the No, film. and, and um, because they were totally new to me, I had no preconceived notions. You know, I thought, okay, um, these are our main characters, and they're going to be very busy, and they sure were. You know, they had this mission that was uh, not easy. And they, but they were quite good. They were quite These good. Actors. The actors were very good. Their uh, supports. Uh, I mean, imagine the, you're the movie makers making this movie about a city of a thousand planets. And it exists out there somewhere in the universe. And all of these different kinds of uh, creatures. Mm. And of course, all of the spaceships and the space travel. And I mean, just let your imaginations go wild. And the special effects folks did such a good job of showing us all of this, you know. We would come back to our humans and have a small uh, dose of normality, you know, but then the rest of the universe that they were in was just fantastic. It was very interesting, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. What did you think? 
Well, I enjoyed it too. Uh, again, I think the the word that I would say sort of overrides this whole film is imagination. Oh uh, my, yes. Just just every every scene, almost every shot uh, of this film is just brimming over with uh, imagination. There's just all the creatures, all the the uh, people and places and things they were doing and such. It's just it's it was just, fun, wonderful, I mean, wonderful. Where where they thought up all this stuff is just <laughs> it's just amazing. They had a and, very creative team, obviously. And then again, it's one thing to think it up; it's another thing to, for them to actually Put it on bring the it screen. on, bring it on screen, visualize it for yes. you know, you know, uh, make make you be able to see it and, and experience it. And, see and, what they were thinking. <laughs> and actually we saw this in 3D and again, I think it's a pretty good use of 3D. Although the the 3D sort of, the use of 3D sort of um, uh, went lessened as the film went on. Again, I think they used it a lot at the beginning, but not so much towards the end. But again, I it forgot was, that we were watching it. In 3D. But again, it, 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 we were there. it because there's so much to yes. see and so much to experience. Again, I think that it, it lent this depth to it that was again, really useful and, and uh, for the audience, again, it was, it was really good. Um, again, I, the, a couple of things, again, I think that uh, you didn't really find out what the whole point of the film was until toward, really towards the end. You didn't get an idea as to where this film was going, why it was why they were doing some things and, and what the whole point of it was which again I think it would have they're going to all these different places going through all these different experiences it would have helped a little bit if you had knew a little bit more as to as to actually why they're going there and what they're what's their what's going to happen they didn't know until the end either but again and they didn't know yeah I mean and I, they I, didn't know that the bad guy had uh, commanded certain little groups, you know, to support him. So they well, came across again, some that they didn't expect, you know, to resist. It's just that, it's just that it, at times I find my, found myself wondering, why are they here again? What are they doing? <laughs> right. uh, why are they, you know, what are they trying to accomplish here? Uh, you know, so, but again, it was, it, while I say that again, it was all so very interesting to, yes. to watch and to go through with them. Yes. And again, it just was, uh, you know, it's it's not a perfect film, but again, I think it was just very, very interesting. Our and young actors were really good. They were you know, good. You know, they, they convinced us. But the world they created, again, I think is really the real star of this film. And again, being able to see it and experience it, again, I thought was just really, really well done. Well, don't just limit it to the world they created, the universe that they created. Okay. <laughs> so I would were, I would recommend it. What would yes, you say, Oh, Grandma? absolutely. This is another two thumb movie. We have been so fortunate to go to two, two, two thumb movies, two thumbs up movies in a row. I mean, this is cool. Thank you.